Assalamualaikum and good morning. Can you all hear me? Yes, doctor. Right, thank you. So please make sure you submit the attendance. If you encounter any problem, please let me know. Morning, how are you? Have you taken your breakfast? It's still early. Okay, good. Make sure you all take your vitamin C. Eh? The weather is changing, so it's open to, to fever, flu. All right, uh, without further delay, uh, today we are going to discuss on tutorial three. So I'm sharing the screen. Have you done this? Okay, so uh, there are two parts. Uh, first is the software modeling questions and then uh, the, the process. And the second part is the uh, introduction to use case diagram. So uh, we go straight away to the second part first before then later on we will go back to the first question. Okay. All right. The first question, determine the actor and use case involved for each requirements. Show me your answer. At the student use case enrollment. Okay. Uh, sorry, um, that's wrong. Uh, can you, anyone share, all right, this one is group one and group two, right? So far, uh, how to do this, eh? Uh, some of you have shared, not shared, uh, invited me for their team. Hey, you cannot share screen to, to chat, eh? Mine, eh? Blue. Okay, pagi ni I blue lah. Eh, hey, last time, last time share tu apa? Boleh share kan? Ha ni? Ni apa ni? Attach. You can share picture right? Boleh ke? Last time ada share tu through telegram ke? This one, forgot lah. I want to see your answer. How do you draw the first question? Students can enroll many classes. Ah, how do you draw this? Anyone maybe can share their screen or your answer here. I want to see your drawing. Okay, Cepat. Or do you want me to call your name? Group one. Okay, Mama Hafiz, can you share your answer? Mama Hafiz Baharudin. Where is Mama Hafiz? You need to draw it because... Uh... Oh, okay. Just stay eh? It's better you draw. Okay, never mind. All right lah, my, my wrong. Okay, determine the actor and use case. 
Okay, the actor is correct, student, straightforward. But then for the use case, enrollment is not a verb. You cannot have... Hmm. Use case, register class. Okay. The actor... Okay, let me... We must start with verb. Yes, correct. Enrollment is not a verb. So that's why just now I say that is not correct. Enroll class. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I'm sharing another screen. Mana, I'm a little bit slow of using this, so you have to be patient. Ah, okay. All right. A uh, student can enroll many classes, can have many actors, cannot. Uh, if by drawing, it should be something like this. Enroll, double L. What is the word there? Class. Um. Mm, that's all. Okay. So this will be student. So you have to be careful. How many actors? You cannot. Okay. Let's say the question say, uh, state one student can enroll uh, many classes. See, it mentioned about the multiplicity. However, using use case diagram, you cannot show that is you only can can show uh, the number through uh, class diagram not here not in this diagram so the answer is just like this as simple as this okay and then second question students should log in before entering to the system so what is the actor So what is the actor? Anyone? Actor, student, okay. Correct. The, the use case? Same thing lah, right? Should log in before entering to the system. So the use case is log in. Log in account, log in uh, can lah. But then usually we put log in lah. Okay, it's something like this. Uh, doctor? Yeah. Uh, the system also can be the actor, right? The system? Yeah. No, cannot. Okay, not right. Okay. Mm. All right. So the system, okay, that is a good question actually. The system will be something like this. The one in the system boundary. Oh. The one in the system boundary because this question uh, doesn't really state any system. So that's why you don't really need to have this system boundary. So let's say this one, what? Entering to the system. Uh, this is the, the system. Okay. 
hmm, login system, login account, okay. But then login system is different from login account, isn't it? But then login is always go to the account and then through the system. Uh, that's why some most of the time if you go to the textbook, they just put login. Okay. All right. Next, uh, customers and able to purchase many products through the system. So what is the actor? Customers. Customer, correct. So the, siapa nama dia tu? The use case? Bus. Sanya, no one did a purchase product. Correct. So, how do you draw? So, just like this uh. you got customer here, and then you got purchase product. Okay, so again, I repeat, right. This one, capital letter, this one, small letter, okay? All right, next is uh, customers must log out the system. Oh, this one, senang lah. It's easy, isn't it? So, you will have customer, just I, I reuse lah, this one. And then what is inside here? Log out. Okay. So it's quite a uh, straightforward question. Okay. Uh, question, any, any question from you all so far? Uh, total, if log out the system, no need to draw the system, right? Draw system, what? Draw system? Yeah. Oh, actually, this one is it's a snippet of a case study. If you go for a, a, usually your question will be with the system boundary. Okay, thank you, doctor. Because this question doesn't state any name of the system, so that's why you don't need to have the system boundary. But then if you draw with this uh, rectangle, the box uh, will be better. Lah. Okay, any more question? No more. All right. Next, uh, question number six. There are two types of students that can apply accommodation through the university accommodation system. Uh, see, this time it mentioned the name of the system. Okay, university accommodation system. So there are undergraduate and postgraduate students. Only undergraduate student is required to make payment. So draw a uh, UML case diagram, a uh, UML actually, to model this software. Okay, so how? So first is, um, how are you going to answer this kind of question? You have to look, the easy way is, is you have to look at what people involve, what other other no, other system involve? Is there an, any machine involved? Okay, because that is how you determine the actor. So so far, what is the actor involved? Hmm. You think what is the actor involved? Post graduate. Postgraduate student. Okay. Postgraduate. Right. Okay. Uh, other do you have any other actor? Anyone have any other actor?
Is there any other actor than postgraduate and undergraduate? Uh, there are two types of students that can apply accommodation through the university accommodation system. They are undergraduate and postgraduate students. Only undergraduate student is required to make payment. Okay, so uh, it's quite straightforward. You have undergraduate and postgraduate. But actually, this question is quite a tricky question. But never mind, I uh, refer to the previous lecture, which is you only learn the basic US use case. So I we just go, uh, we just I give you answer based on the basic uh, use case. So, so far we have postgraduate and undergraduate. What else? Use case. Ah, okay, so what use case involve? For postgraduate. Make payment. Uh, make payment is for make payment for which one? Database administrator is required. Uh, no, we do not talk about database administrator yet. Apply accommodation. Okay. Apply, okay. You are talking. When you say about use case, but I need to know. Okay, I just put here lah. Apply. Uh, apply accommodation. Okay. Ada use case? What else? Jom saya tengok sini. Uh, make payment for undergraduate. Okay. Make payment right okay any other use cases law in law out law in but then there is no law in law out stated here it doesn't mention in the case study Withdraw accommodation, it doesn't mention at all. It doesn't mention. Um, okay, if you look at this, okay, this is the question. There are two types of student. So, there are two types of student that can apply accommodation through. And, okay, so when you see the word apply, then you know this is a use case actually, isn't it? So you know this is a use case. So that's why it's quite easy for you. Right. Through the university accommodation system, they are undergraduate. So you know the undergraduate is an actor. That's why you mentioned. And then postgraduate student. So this is another actor. Okay. Only undergraduate student is required to make payment. So you know that required to make payment. This is the action, the verb. Okay, so th that's why you choose make payment. Okay, so from here, th there is no mention of law in, there is no mention of law out. Okay, there is no mention of withdraw. So you don't need to draw this. Okay. 
this situation is totally different from your project. Project is different. Project is you have to think about the whole combi system. This one is based on the case study uh, for for your exercise, for your exam, because we cannot uh, ask you to draw too big system. You don't have enough time. So your answer should be exactly from the point scale. Okay. So here it's obvious that we have uh, the one that I circle, right? So what we can do now is it says that, okay, then after that, make a relationship, okay, the association between them. So what is the association? Undergraduate requirement, okay. The undergraduate make payment, that's all. And then how about postgraduate? Postgraduate uh, can apply accommodation. Uh, is undergraduate can apply accommodation? Of course lah. Because it is a type of student, right? So it will be like this. Okay. And then last part is you have to draw the system boundary because it's mentioned to you the system boundaries name. What, what does what is it? Uh, accommodation uh, university accommodation system. Any other question? If you put the postgraduate on the right side, it means that you are telling uh, the you know, the other designer, postgraduate is not really important actor. It's supporting actor. It should be on the left and the right, uh, on the left side, lah, for both. Okay, because both both are the main main users. They are applying accommodation, right? It's not like something like you have like let's say uh, undergraduate can make payment through PayPal. PayPal have to ensure that uh, the undergraduate student is verified through their matrix number. So. Uh, accommodation system must do verification to send to the PayPal, PayPal do the process up. So the PayPal will be on the right side. At, uh, not necessarily. Sometimes, let's like, say, uh, okay, the let's say the accommodation system, eh? let's say uh, this, you know, the accommodation system, uh, all the payment uh, uh, will be managed by, by, uh, uh, by a bursary. Okay, because when you talk about accommodation, of course there is a payment, and then there must be someone who handle the payment, right? So uh, the bursary will be you can put it next uh, on the right side. Uh, definitely for external uh, right side, definitely for external system, but not necessarily only for external system. It could be people as well. Any other question? Okay. All right. So next will be next question. The seven one. Anyone have done this? Eh, last one here. Textbook management app. Cuba, can you please do this and then share with me? I want to see whether you understand or not. To donate textbooks using textbook management app, a donor is required to register account by providing name, metric number and address. Once the donor has registered, the donor must log in to use the app. The donor can donate his old book by giving the name of the books and the quantity of the book. Uh, draw. 
Dia sebenarnya uh, okay. okay, so blue using this one I don't know how but then somehow mm. How to be creative using Microsoft Teams Okay, wait, let me think I want to know your answer, you cannot wait from me You cannot learn UML by waiting my answer Trust me for those who do not attend the tutorial session, just refer to the video, they cannot answer the test or exam. You must train your brain on how to design. By looking at the answer, you, you, your brain cannot learn how to design. You have to learn first. You must try and error. Every single of you has different kind of thinking, you know. School of thought is totally different. Nah, ada pun. See, I know you can share ini. Saja kan. Fokat ini. Donor register. Are you register account? Oh, register account. And then donor can log in. Donor can donate textbook. Correct. And then... Donor. Okay. Uh, even though the notes put UC one, UC two, UC UC four. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm not really familiar. Get used to it. Okay. So I'm not really. I will not comment on your UC one, two, three, four. But I will comment for Muhammad Luqman. I, I will comment on your, uh, what they call that, use case. Your use case must start with uh, small letter. Okay? And then uh, registration system is strong. Book management system should not be there. Okay? Tax management app will handle all, all of this. Uh, external system is something nothing to do with the textbook management app. It got nothing to do. It's more like uh, you, the only, it's just like you are using API, you know, you need their API in order to run the textbook management app. But for registration uh, system, book management system is part of textbook management app so you cannot have it not it will be module okay inside the this app and then manage okay uh, this one is just like the your friend just now left I think uh, I think do not assume when you answer software modeling question do not assume answer exactly from the case study exactly from the case study if you have uh, the opportunity to work outside or abroad actually there is one the system analyst do not do the design you know they collect the requirement so design designer is someone else so designer will design the software based on the requirements provided by system analysts so you cannot have like all this assumption, assumption, okay? So, so far, uh, Emily's answer is correct. Lah. You can use Emily answer. Okay. Uh, that one is very straightforward, comes from the question. So how about B? Okay, think of a way on how this software can enable receiver to view available book, request book and related use cases to enable the book to be delivered to his or her house. You have another one. How do you, how are you going to extend this case study?
what are other use case and actors involved? Aduh. Actor receiver, correct? Oh, tak boleh. Oh, tak boleh. Eh? Why? Why? Microsoft team is very bad. Tak boleh nak ambil. I cannot drag your answer. Want to tak boleh hit it. Receiver, okay. Dari mana tu? Yeah. This one. Okay. So what is it just now? Eh. Eh, saya ingat kepala aktor. So, you have receiver. And then, what is the use case? Wait, wait, wait. Use case, view book, request book, deliver book. View book. Okay, so this one, how software can enable receiver, okay, to view, ah, okay, no wonder, to view available group, request book, or and related use cases to enable the book to be delivered to his, but just now you see View, receiver, use key, view, what else? And then how about this one? To be delivered to his, her house. Logistic involved, correct. You are right. But then you have to think, because this one is kind of open uh, open answer. It's an open-ended question. So it's a, that's why I want to see your answer. There is no fixed answer. Because uh, when, when the question say, uh, related, eh, related, related use cases, uh, so what is the related use cases? So it depends on you lah, on how you understand about uh, enable the book to be delivered to her house, for example. Eh? Right. So you can have something like this actually. Uh, this is my answer lah. Then, so you can have uh, uh, the the straightforward one is view, the view book, right, okay. request book, right, another one is delivered to here, okay. this one let's say, mini shipping. This is the one that the, that 
the one that I saved. Okay, so now uh, that one is depends on. And then you also can have submit proof of payment. Mini shipping lah is under mini shipping. It depends. Any question? Okay. So, uh, I think that's all for use case diagram. Uh, do you, hopefully you can get some idea how to draw the use case diagram. So, next will be uh, the first part, the software process part. Okay. How to, you know, uh, yeah. Oh, that's how. How? I don't want to share. How to stop sharing? How to stop sharing? Right, so the other part is the first part, which is this one. What is software process model? Okay, what is your answer? What is software process model? Anyone? Abstraction representation of software processes. Okay, correct. Okay. I will give you this. Okay. Right. <laughs> Abstract representation of a process and also present description of a process from some particular perspective. Okay. What are the four basic software processes in SDLC models? Specification, design, implementation, validation, and execution. So straightforward lah from the PowerPoint, right? Okay, now you have to give you have to give reasons. All right, reason for your answer based on the type of system being developed, suggest the most appropriate generic software process model that might be used as a basis. Okay, first. An app to give an alert notification on haze condition based on the user current location. What is your answer? Siti Silmi Aziza, what is your answer? Siti Simi Aziza ada ke? Ah, incremental development. Why? Uh, my answer might be different from yours. But then, uh, whether it's correct or not, it based on your justification. Why do you say incremental development? To renew the condition. 
uh, it has a complex functionality but must be must be stable and reliable so that's why we need incremental uh, as the system requirement we change as real user experience with the system is gained okay because it's uh, complex lah. right okay next an app to purchase used textbooks Muhammad Aiman Shahran. Okay, Ng said reuse based model. Muhammad Aiman, what is your answer? Where is Muhammad Aiman? Any other students answer the question? I want to know whether you are in and then exist or not. If you are in and I call you and you do not answer, at least by using chat room, you are sleeping or what? So, Mama Aiman, Shahran, absent now. I answer reuse, okay. Right. Waterfall model is appropriately to use because uh, it's a simple app, purchase textbook. Usually when you go to for something uh, e-commerce system, not as big as Lazada. No, this one is a used textbook. It's, it's very specific uh, item that we consider as a simple system. It's not a complex one. If time is the constraint, agile methodology. Okay. Next, a storybooks app for children. Hui Hui N. Where is Ui Hui N? What is your answer? Ong Zi Jing said. I receive all oh, reuse. Okay. The requirement are fairly unknown, uh, correct? But then, if the requirement are fairly unknown, it, uh, why do you use reuse? Where is Ui Hui N? I want to know answer for Ui. Uh, save time. No, correct. Daniel Waterfall. Ong uh, Fun can say uh, your answer is the same as Ong. Eh? Oh, okay. Okay, U Hui N consider absent. I call you, you are not in. Right, a reuse based approach is likely to be appropriate because you can uh, extract all the library, the open source. You can use waterfall as well. There, is, there are two answers actually for this one. Waterfall and reuse. Waterfall, it means uh, we assume there is no open source process. Eh? But then this one, since it's very straightforward as, and it has been done for many people, by many people. So that's why we, uh, we, can, uh, we, we can use reuse based approach. Okay. Anti-lock breaking system. Bila pula, baru nak masuk anti-lock breaking system. Waterfall, the SDF safety critical. Yes, is a safety critical. It's a very 
It means is uh, safety is very important, must be done properly. So what is the most uh, relevant, appropriate model? Yeah, waterfall. Even, uh, even though it's complex, because usually when we talk about safety critical, it's complex. But then we know what we have to focus on and it must be done uh, thoroughly. Okay, you cannot simply reuse other people's safety algorithm and then uh, incremental can happen. However, try to avoid because if one is wrong, it means that the whole thing must be done, you know, from scratch. So then it means that cost is involved, it's wasting time. So that's why we, uh, most of the people use waterfall. Lah. Okay. Next is a VR, virtual reality system. Incremental development. Mama Hafi said incremental development. Uh, where is Po Zui Me? Po Zui Me. Po Po. I think not many student name Po. P O H. Any Po Zui Me? Ah, what is your answer, Po? Ah, at last, someone applied. What is your answer for this question? Incremental, why? Ani Zulaiha also say incremental. need to be good on every level every level must be good do you have option not to be good this is the system where the requirements will change and there will be an extensive user interface component right incremental development with some ui prototyping is the most appropriate model and extra process may be used uh, the most relevant is incremental development lah. But then current, uh, currently most of the time when we go for incremental, people use agile. It's a, um, because it's an incremental, it's a, it's a repeat and repeat and repeat the same process in all, and ensure that every process, every level is correct, 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 correct. All UI correct, correct. So if you choose incremental, it's acceptable. Uh, but then currently people use agile for VR. Okay. Not because must be good in every level, because the requirements change in every level. Okay. Okay, next. University accounting system. Uh, this is a very common accounting system. Okay, reuse base. Is it correct? Why? It's just like the previous question, all right? It's a requirement of fairly, uh, fairly well known. Okay. This one, actually, if you go to GitHub, there are a lot of accounting system module. So you can simply, you know, take that, take that one, take this and merge. Interactive travel planning system. It sounds like the requirement quite uh, well known. However, is the word interactive. There is an interactive there. Yes, incremental. Okay. So if this if the question state 
uh, only travel planning system without interactive. That one is obviously is a, a reuse. Lah. But then this one it says about interactive. So when it comes to user interface that keep on changing over time, you know, during the development, we are talking about during development though. So um, usually we use incremental or agile. Okay. Okay, question number four. Consider the reuse-based process model. Explain why it is essential to have, what is that? I don't know. In the process. Okay, this one. Ah. I don't say that your answer is wrong. Basically, the, more or less like this. Okay. Mm. You need two requirements engineering activities because it's essential to adapt the system requirements according to the capability of the uh, component to be reused. So the, uh, the activities is the first, uh, these two. Lah. Okay. All right. Oh, that's all. Oh, that is the last one. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? So I think for the software process model, we uh, have covered most uh, of the gist of that chapter. And then next is uh, the use case diagram. So, uh, uh, from this tutorial session, we know that what to put on the left side and what to put on the right side. And then how uh, do you determine the use case? Okay, and how to write it. How to name the use case. Okay. All right. Uh, if you have no question, any question? So if you have no question, that's all for today. Uh, please make sure you submit the attendance. So far, no problem. Okay. Then see you next week on Tuesday. Uh, please make sure you submit your your submission, whatever, by tonight, right? Okay. And then uh, I will give feedback. Hopefully by next week, you can see the feedback through the drop box. If it's major, I will call you and your member. If you did it totally wrong, the answer, I hate it so much, like eh, so blurred, you don't know what to do. Then I will call the leader and the members. That's why I need the group. I hope you can use the Microsoft team or Google Meet. I can understand. Some of you, I agree uh, because Microsoft team is quite heavy actually compared to Google Meet. Uh, doesn't matter. But I need something where we can share screen, you know. So I'm not sure Telegram can share screen, but then that doesn't matter. Lah. Okay. okay, that's all for today. See you next week. Bye. Thank you, Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Welcome.